Hello, welcome to the cunt stream. We have Wrath of Controversy, Smeckle, um, Smosh, Run and Gun, Outlaw, and Dolphin Radio. She oh. can read, Smeckle. ladies and gentlemen. You're, you're Smeckle. <laughs> <laughs> Smeckle, Shme whatever. Yeah, you can read. That's one step above most, I guess. That that is true. <laughs> I could have introduced you as the. So we have the. It would have been less confusing. That's that, that, well, also anyway, less funny. Tonight we are talking. Tonight we are talking about a very very serious topic. <laughs> Amos E. Uh, I didn't mean to laugh there. <laughs> the, the, that was one of those uncomfortable laughs because this is it's not a nice topic. So before when that, we have we nice have topics. A... Like, like seriously, the internet is why we can't have nice topics. This is why we can't have nice things, Rath. No, 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 no. We can't have nice things because Schmeckel doesn't know what condoms are, and now he has to take care of a child. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, before yeah. we do the whole emo C fucking, it's only an accident the first two times. By the way. <laughs> after that, you just play yeah, roulette. Like, figure out what we're gonna do. Like after that, you're just a bad gambler. Yeah. Angie's the one with the with the sad story. Start people off with that. So they can have a few laughs. Yay! Sad story. Well, today I uh, I went to get my furnace tuned up because. I'm going on vacation, and it won't turn back on sometimes, and it's very old. And uh, the guy comes in and tests the uh, heat exchange. And basically, um, I am at, like, 70% efficiency. Long uh, story short, uh, my furnace is leaking carbon monoxide and might kill me in my sleep. <laughs> Oh, Holy Lord. shit. <laughs> open a window. God, yeah, sleep with the window open. You'll live. I have carbon monoxide detectors and stuff, but, like, they said they can't get the part or whatever that regulates at the heat exchange, and uh, I have to get a whole new fucking furnace, which is going to be ridiculous, and it's going to have to take out a loan to get it. So, right around the fucking holidays. <laughs> Yeah, all, all the other stuff we had were about see, being raped. See, I would wish you a shitty Christmas, but it seems like that the universe has got you covered there. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Doing well. Anyway, cunts. Uh, th th that was a lot less sad than I thought. Now we're going to go, go on to the real sad uh, topic. Why does Amos Yee want kids to be molested and or raped? He's trying to spread the penis. love that his uncle gave him. Uh, I don't know if uh, if all of you actually saw the, the stream he did with Jeff, but I'm sure you've all uh, heard his ideas at some point, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I uh, heard his ideas. I'm plugging the headset. I heard his ideas last time he was making a big stink on the internet. Exactly. When he fucking disappeared, or before he disappeared, rather. Uh, yeah, was he in jail again, or what happened there? I actually have no clue. Uh, uh, I think he was, but he was in an American jail when he came over here. So I think he was. Oh, in yeah. yes, <laughs> he came yes. to the states and got sent to jail. <laughs> yes, he came over. He claimed asylum and he got. Uh, what was jail. it ten months? Jeez, I mean, I I could pretend to have missed him, but I really was kind of glad that he wasn't around. I mean, oh, what do you think? Uh, first off causes somebody to uh, to turn out this way. I, in the case of Amos, I think he's just young and stupid, and he thought he was making like really smart points. He actually did a live stream on his channel, and it was cringy as fuck, because after a while, people were giving him legitimate criticism, and he just started waving his hands like, no, no, I, I've, I've well researched this. Like an arrogant child, which in fact, that is exactly what he is. Yeah, well, he's Certainly an arrogant. Well, I don't think he's a child anymore, is he? Hasn't yeah, he turned? Yeah. I don't think he has. I think he was like sixteen when the thing happened. I think he's seventeen now. Okay. okay. He's still I, even yeah. if he was in his twenties, he's still a young, stupid idiot. Yeah, but I mean, there's a difference between a seventeen-year-old idiot and an eighteen-year-old idiot, right? Yeah. yeah I, I think an eighteen-year-old idiot, idiot, idiot now the state's problem. Yep. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. 
Personally, I don't think he should have been granted asylum if they knew uh, these particular stances at the time. And once they found out, it should it certainly should have been send him, send him back. Yeah, exactly. Like, as much as it as bad as it sounds to say send send him back where he came from, <laughs> uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad thing when you're talking about somebody who thinks fucking kids is okay. It's like your government had their idea. We're I think at that point, let them deal with you. Back. I got you back on that one, man. I got it. I gotta well, say. I think he just needs to properly get his head around the idea of consent <clears throat> because for some reason, it is. Well, his... have his ass. Yeah, a little I mean, false. A little bit of both. I mean, he, he seems to think that, you know, consent, that children are capable of consent. <laughs> I that, think you're giving him so okay. much credit using the word sink and see at this point. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So where is this kid from? What, what? Singapore. Singapore. Okay, and so he's entering, he sought asylum in Singapore? No, no in, in, the, the, in the U.S. He grew here. up in Singapore. Why is he here? Because he was seeking asylum from the Singaporean government because they were <laughs> well, like, well, he had been arrested for making anti-Christian content previously. Yeah, yeah. he was arrested on non-pedophilia-related charges. Well, I, uh, yeah, he was. I think he was arrested, inevitably sent to jail for, and I believe I'm, I, I'm trying to quote this correctly, hurting the feelings of the religious people. Okay. He, didn't, he didn't just go after Christians, he also went after Muslims. And then yeah, he, he came a, he and, then, book. and then he, he came a, to the United States. Yeah. Did he um, get arrested and he got arrested again here? Yeah, but it was for like um immigration purposes. It, it was a like, different kettle. And thing. now he's out, correct? Yeah. Yes. And he's spouting all over the internet that Continuing. children it should be okay to fuck kids. All right, so just watch him, and as soon as he violates the law, uh, arrest him. Exactly. Or if he goes to violate the law, arrest him. Like I mean, he, uh, this, this is why freedom of speech is a good thing. Like you can't go arrest him if he hasn't done anything wrong. But no, certainly if, not. But you can certainly deny him asylum. You you give him the right to free. Yeah, I I agree with that. If he's an American citizen, though, I'd say give him the right to free speech. You know his views. Follow him. Watch this guy. This guy is obviously an issue. So pay attention to him because he's going to come up again. Yeah, he's he like here's the thing. That's, a, that's why I, my, that's why I don't mind Nazis marching in the street. I want to see each of their. I want to know who they are. No, yeah, and I, that's I, I honestly do. Homegrown fucking Nazis, sure. People that are here begging asylum that are also Nazis, no fucking send them back. No, too. no, 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 absolutely send them back. If, if you're here asking asylum and you want it, like you're proposing that our laws are not valid, you want to rape kids? No. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, no. They can consent? No. No. Sorry, that no. is the sticking they point. Have, they don't and have the mental capacity to consent. That is the sticking point. That is the sticky situation that we're in. He is actively talking about children in a capacity mm -hmm. to where they can consent and you can touch them in a sexual he manner. Believed if you can get a child to touch your genitals, you got that kid to consent. That is... That's his stance. He's con mm -hmm. I think Chair of you said it before we started. He's confusing uh, consent with approval. Yeah. Just because they think it's a good thing doesn't mean they can make informed consent. Which is the consent that uh, that the law requires? I think that this is dangerous because he he goes on YouTube and he says all his bullshit. It's inciting this dangerous. Uh, it, it just it, it's not good. It's not a fucking good thing, and I can't articulate uh, it as a, best as I there's want. There's a broad line between speech and incitement, and like you know, I, I get you back. I don't really like what he's saying. But I want him to say it. I want him to feel comfortable saying it because I want to be able to see him from a distance and watch him. And well, then but he, he said this line, before. Throw his ass in jail. But he said this before. That's yeah, the well, other thing. He keeps talking and running his mouth. When when is enough? There's no law against that. Well, well the thing is, well, he runs his mouth. You contradict him, and that's how he gets shut down. You don't shut him down. You just prove him wrong. And not just that. I mean, he's only hurting himself when he says sh crazy shit like that because the internet never forgets. Everywhere he goes, this will follow him. 
I oh, mean, of course. He's going to be known for this for the rest of his it, life. Exactly. But you're not going to change his oh, mind. He thinks he'll be a martyr. Well, Regar it, regardless of how much you throw at him, you're not going to change his mind. He's still going to think that fucking kids is okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's not right. about changing his, his mind. Like, as long as he's only saying it, there's no violation. I, I don't see him doing anything wrong. Yeah. And I have for kids. <sighs> well, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's it. It comes back down to the. They came for the Nazis, and I said nothing because I'm not a Nazi. They came, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, and then when they came for the moderates, there was no one. There was no one left to stand with me because I refused to stand for anyone else's right to speak. I don't see how that relates to to my argument. Like, you, no, no, no. I'm, you I'm don't agreeing with you. Persecute a person until they. Yeah, they, they yeah. Well, well, oh, yeah. I'm just with you. It's like we can't, we can't prosecute, <laughs> we can't prosecute speech. Right. No, I, very I've simple. Always, or thought crimes. Well, I've always felt they, like they don't prosecute just, uh, because he has these beliefs. But, you can, uh, however, refuse to grant him asylum and send him back where where he fucking I'm, came I'm, from. I'm down with that. In the case I'm of down with that, where he's not back. a citizen, yeah, let send him back. It's like you stand but, but, against what our laws stand for, so. We're just but not getting to your question of what do you do with people that aren't seeking asylum here that just have these ideas? And I think that's another concern. You have to wait until they do something. Well, it fucking stops. See, but I, you can't fucking punish them until there's a crime. I've always thought that pedophilia was a sickness, and it is, because you have to be very, very sick to want to touch kids. And I think that if more effort was put into helping people that are speaking like this and actually rationalizing these ideas before they, because like waiting for them to hurt somebody is not okay. I'm not cool with that. I don't want to wait until somebody else's life gets ruined, you know, but yeah, maybe, I'm with her on that. Yeah. Trying to help them when they're spouting this, trying to find some kind of psychiatric care for these people because it is something chemically wrong in your brain. It has to be something wrong with you because uh, it is not widely accepted by the public. So there has to be some way we can aid these people into some kind of rehabilitation so they don't end up touching someone. The, the problem is that psychiatry and psychology tends to treat this as like something that it, it's okay. It's just part of who you are and you need to come to terms with it. That's not how they deal with it. I agree with you. I agree. If we can change these people's minds, then by all means, we should do it. If there was a pill you could give a pedophile to make them not a pedophile, I'd be like, give it to all of them. But no, I'm that's not, not the way that the professions are acting. That's not the way the professions are receiving this. And anybody it, it, the studies it was a are, fucking pill you could pop into pedophiles that would make them into regular normal people. I'd say it should be fucking government funded. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I would pay for I'm it. Not in, I'm not into pedof I'm not into rehabilitating pedophiles because the recidivism rate is astronomical. Oh no, the the ones that have offended, kill them. No, we're, uh, we're talking about we're talking about ones that haven't offended, like people who have not committed a victim crime yeah, yet. Yeah, people say, "Look, look, I want help. I have this problem." Right. Or, like, like there's, there's yeah. well, there's been cases of that of people that have come up and said, like. I really want help and stuff with this, and I feel like this is it, this isn't okay, and I don't want to offend. But there's nothing they can do; their hands are completely tied. And I I think that, uh, for instance, I'm supposed to be going through DBT therapy, which is something that's supposed to reshape the way that I think um, completely, reshape my brain. And if they can create a therapy just for that then they can create a therapy just for pedophiles to reshape the way that they think. Okay, for a moment there, I thought you were saying that you were a pedophile. Well, <laughs> what, what exactly? What yeah, exactly yeah, are you yeah, having I was going to say that, that, that got confusing for a I was second. Say I like keep, her, keep, her, keep her away from Opal. <laughs> what exactly are you having reshaped? What's, what's wrong with you that needs to be re reshaped? Oh, I've been diagnosed with Mainly a she's got this big bulge on the right, and they're trying to work it out. It's more like a kink or a knot or something, but like, yeah. it requires... It massage it, right? like a little bit. Yeah. But no, it's, not, it's for borderline personality disorder, and it's a last resort when lithium and stuff are not working for you. So they take you into DBT therapy, um, which I can't remember what the D stands for right now. 
Go ahead and let uh, well, me know. <laughs> uh, Red and only in the chat says, Geek correct, uh, correct. So has some words about his work with Heart's Progress. Uh, I, I really hope you mean against Heart Progress, but uh, if Geek has something to say, uh, Samaj, send him the link. Okay. okay. But I just yeah, feel like Heart they... Progress is not a friend. <laughs> we yeah. don't work with them. We tend I... to work against them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't Heart Progress do some shit with who was it? Whose avatar was it? Like they used uh, someone's uh, like Twitter photo or some shit. I thought. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that was two different people. I think we have to miss Misa and somebody named Finn's Chan. Oh, that was Misa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was one of them. The, the chat still doesn't understand that you're fucking alive, Wrath. Yes, Rosa. Wrath didn't die. Oh, well, we brought him hey, back. Hey, hey. He's completely dead. Three days later, he rose. Yeah, no I'm, hair I'm, Not much this. I'm YouTube Jesus. Subscribe to my channel, bitches. <laughs> he came back three yeah, months. Yeah, where he doesn't produce content anymore. YouTube Jesus is a part of the YouTube KKK. Because Mary Magdalene turned out to be a whore. Hey, she's in the hangout. I just got I just got subbed and then I'll sub too. It's a so good why, Halloween. Why are you all picking on this Amish Yi? He's such a delicate young man. He's doing good work for all the children. Geeks. Nah, I, I, I gotta ask Geek because Red and Only uh phrased that really poorly. It it was work against heart progress, correct? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> that was convincing. Very. They're just looking for equal treatment. Hey, they, they're just doing this. They want an equal platform for everybody. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah, yeah. Exactly. This schmeckle guy, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Them kids, they Your all... Your credibility is down the drain. They all run around sneaking <sighs> candies in their underpants. They gotta <laughs> chase them down and steal them back. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, what do you think of... Uh, uh, did you watch Amos and Jeff today, Geek? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, no, I can't keep doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody needs to ignore Amos. -y. He's a fucking idiot. He's a troll. Yeah, yeah. I think he's doing it just for attention. Well, it's almost like Omni. Remember when he like blew up for a little bit, uh, and he like even talked to Andy Worski, and then he just fucking disappeared. He went to no, jail. Uh, I'm sorry. It's starting to Is seem it? like everything gets uh, everybody gets called a troll every time uh, they're just aggressively stupid. He didn't, he didn't this go to jail. Two different fucking jails. Well, he, had, he came back with a video saying that he was really. questioned by the police and happened to say it was confiscated. So unless yeah, well, he was lying in that video, which is possible. My he, understanding was is that he got in trouble and uh, there was like a, a, a verbal agreement with people that he would stop making videos. And uh, He's still making videos, though. Where? He's on a different. I don't remember the name of the channel, but somebody oh, it, put it to light. He's. You may want to check suit yourself. Channel. You may want to check suit yourself. So. Well, yeah, he's the one who brought the channel back. I just don't remember what name it was under, but it was a no, completely no. different name. Suit yourself did a stream with the guy. It's not. It's not. It's not Omni Politics. No, no, he no. It's, it's the same guy on a different channel name. He just brought a different channel back to light. It just wasn't his original channel. Is what I'm saying. Do you know? Do you know what the name of the channel is? No, I don't. That's the only fucking problem I have an issue with here. I won't. I don't want to say too much because I can't remember the name of the fucking channel. No, I, I don't have to ask for a video about Omni coming back. I, I'll try to find the stream I'm talking about. Because has... but, no, but we are talking about two different things because Omni dude was on a different channel of his own, saying I'm back, blah blah blah. I'm still going to talk about the same shit, but I don't remember the name of the channel he was hiding under. But it was the same dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, there's, I think... there's too many of these people around lately to get them all straight, apparently. Yeah, and that, dude. That's a terrifying thing. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't have time to play whack a like... <laughs> Man, 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 you never want to play whack a <laughs> That is the 12 and on. <laughs> the beard would never, would never allow it. 
You're way my, too my close chat. to Hollywood to play whack a pedo, man. My Discord <laughs> chat's upset with me because I didn't stick with my Uncle Paul impression long enough. I, I was supposed to keep doing it till I got kicked, but I bitched out. They're right. I'm a <laughs> pussy. Yeah. Uh, you came it close. Was close. Really close to yeah. Well, you can boo him anyways. That way you can say yeah. he did. Uh, oh. I suppose it could. No, I think I think he gets he gets called out by his Discord channel for uh, calling out that that's what he was doing. So yeah, that's well, true. No, we no, couldn't no. exactly. He just you is he, no, he no, officially be... conceded defeat. And he's gone. No. <laughs> did you boot him? Because I couldn't tell from this angle. <laughs> of course say, he did. Say, all I noticed <laughs> is like it's just like poof. There was no more Yeah, he got kicked. He's talking about in the chat. Like, uh, he, he of disappeared. Chat, uh, <laughs> hey, somebody throw the uh, link up in the chat. I can't see the chat. No, the, uh, well, find you it yourself. Subscribe, you wouldn't have that problem. That for a bitch. I just, want, I just want the easy solution. Dude, yeah, you were tagged. You're a lazy <laughs> motherfucker. Dude, you were tagged on the tweet. <laughs> and I even, I even retweeted it. <laughs> there, I gave you the link, you lazy bastard. Dolph, what the hell? Do not fucking enable him, Ron. I work <laughs> all the time. No one cares. I work all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously no one cares. It's, you know, it's a fucking Wednesday night and people are watching this shit. There are clearly a lot of people who just give not a single fuck. <laughs> We barely gave and sympathy I, to the I ones who like might die in their sleep, so just fuck off. Uh, I would like to remind you all, as always, that uh, <laughs> you're here because your life is sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're here because our life doesn't exist. And that goes for the people in the stream and the people in the chat. Yep. yep. You're here because yep. your life see, is unhappy. See, I had like a month where my life wasn't like sad, and then my life got sad again, and I came back. And where were you for the month where your life was not Getting sad? Getting laid. And where were you <laughs> not? Here. Sonny back on Twitter. <laughs> I I'm wish specifically that not would, here. The cure for being like unhappy. Out, I would be late all the I'd time. I like point out that uh, Schmeckle, as the host of this stream, has the host of Sad Lives. Yeah, you say Schmeckle. You louder. You're you're a host of this stream, correct, Schmeckle? So I you're the so. king. You are the king of Sad Lives. I have a fucking child. Do you think I'm happy? <laughs> he is the saddest of pandas. I just One use it as an excuse to drink. Well, I mean, I, oh, I, I, I use you people. See, I use all of you as excuses to drink. Like, Dolphin, Which... because he provides the booze. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I've, I think I'm drinking too much. Samaj, because he's more talented than me and yet hasn't gotten laid in eight years. Michael has no such thing as too that's, much. That's like the most depressing fact of my life. Is like, what, what do you mean too much? Who's saying this too much shit? No, it's only too much if you make massive blood stains at the bottom of your stairs. Then you've drank too much. Until that point, you were good. <laughs> no, I'm oh sorry. Oh my god, no. I have to walk down the your stairs. Pants, you also drank too much. I would suggest not doing things. that because gravity will take over. Oh my yep. god. Today I had to help this guy who was really, really drunk going through a divorce. The bar called me. And they were like, hey, do you have this guy with you that's staying with you? And can our kitchen guys carry him over? And I'm like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. And he's like fighting the kitchen guys. And I see him and I'm like, hey, buddy, remember me? I checked you in. Can I show you to your room? And he's like, yeah. And then I took him to his room. But the, the kitchen guys were just like so adamant about him not touching me. I went to grab his hand to help him up. And they're like, oh, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, I can handle myself. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll be so right back. Um, dolphins in church. Oh, that's a plan. All Are right, you doing that badly? I'm in charge. Bringing out the booze. Oh, you got a long way. Everybody down for this? There we go. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, no, no, seriously. Like, that's, uh, we will, that's we we will talk. finish up when he gets back. This is, we will this talk is one gallon of uh, this is raspberry meat. Like, uh, like we will. There will be a conversation about getting some of that to me. Yeah, no, <laughs> drink half that before. I, I don't know if you can see all these. 
but these are cases of meat, so there's yeah. a bunch of meat behind. Like that this will be a thing that will happen and I will <laughs> celebrate my new place that hopefully won't have stairs. Uh, <laughs> and if it does and I disappear for a while, I may have actually died. <laughs> I found out the hard way uh, because I promised to send Gwen some and uh, and I sent it to her and I told her, look, I'm going to ask, I have to ask you to pay shipping. Shipping's 14 bucks, which, you know, it's like 15 eight, or 13 85 so mm -hmm. it's 14 bucks. And, and I get up there and I, I say, okay, this is alcohol and I want it insured. And they're like, this FedEx is the only place that ships alcohol. And they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. You have an account, excellent, everything's good and kosher. And we need a $5 extra for the, for the signature. So it's actually about 20 bucks to ship alcohol. That's not bad. For a they giant thing of mead? Oh, they charge you five, no, 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 that's for three 750 milliliters. Which is about the same, but um, they, they charge you five dollars for you to sign for it. I'm, I'm just saying, just saying. You yeah. complain a lot. It's probably yeah. a consequence of your uh, advanced age. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's 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 messed up. But uh, it's about twenty bucks just to ship it. Hmm. So, um, how, how did, you, did you figure out how much to get some of that shit to Canada? Because uh, I, I, I don't could, know. Can, can FedEx deliver to Canada? Because like I got bottles like this and shit. You know. Yes, the FedEx does deliver here. I, I believe. Okay. I think you have to pay some like international bullshit thing, so it'll be more. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna need the money up front. I just uh, I just basically uh, wiped out my savings with my with the last quarter's uh, events. Yeah, I, I can send you the money, and then you send the booze, and then we had a successful transaction. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm, a, Dolphin, I'm a capitalist, man. Dolphin, yeah, we, we uh, did capitalism. Do the um, like at some point, DM me like your PayPal shit, and yeah. or whatever, yeah, however yeah. you want me to send you the money, and we will coordinate. Okay. Now, uh, keep so in I, mind, I keep in mind, if you guys can hold off for a little while, I've got an. Apple mead coming up, which is actually called a sizer because it's a mix between mead and cider. Uh, cider. Now, I'm so, gonna tell you blatantly, uh, like flat out up front, I don't care about the flavor. Send me <laughs> the highest uh, alcohol. You guys remind me of like getting gotcha. moonshine from Tennessee, and it is the best shit ever. This, this, like, the problem, look, ask crap. The problem with it is it doesn't taste like you're getting drunk yeah. until you it's until you stand up. When you stand up, you're like, "Oh shit, that was alcohol." Yeah. When you stand up, you smell like oh <laughs> beer. With the amount I smoke and drink, none of this shit tastes like I'm getting drunk or sustenance. You'll you'll feel it. Trust. Yeah, you'll feel it. You you'll be sedentary for like an hour. Be like, I got two bottles of this shit down. I feel nothing. And the rest and then, of the and then you stand up like, and you're telling like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm dead. That's all right. Uh, I'm uh, dead. If I pull, if I pull a stairs wrath situation or 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 a vamp wrath situation, I'll let you all no. know. No, no. <laughs> Why are we bringing this up? <laughs> I, I, feel like I'm I feel like I've suffered enough. Because not only, I don't think not only is enough. it on the internet forever, it is the greatest marketing tool I have for my need. Well, it was. it's not on the internet forever. Most of the cringiness was off there. It's right. It, actually, that's a, that's a good – you have a good point there. People watching right now, if you want good, cheap mead – <laughs> send a send a, a DM or a fucking YouTube message that he'll never check. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, 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 yeah. probably do it on Twitter. Send a dolphin, just dolphin radio, right? Yeah, just dolphin underscore radio underscore on Twitter. Okay, so too many damn underscores, unnecessary underscores, but dolphin, 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 dolphin radio. radio Who the fuck so steals dolphin radio? Fucking me. Yeah, this guy right? makes. This guy makes enough fucking so money. Meanwhile, I got away fine with Satan Queen 666, the edgiest fucking name of all. Wow, uh, well, it's like, it's like yeah, holy shit. Good. You're like, 
You're like 14 or something. You're hella edgy. <laughs> I know. I almost fucking gave that email address to a job interview. And... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just email me at satanqueenx666 at gmail.com. Fucking, I'll hook you no, up. I, I, I've, oh, I've oh, actually okay. turned people down for jobs before because of their email addresses. There was one, it was like dope ganja something. <laughs> I got email, I got Okay, okay. Dumb motherfucker. Of the month. Okay, now, now that we're doing dumb emails, um, so I actually got a job. This is the email address I gave them. Flying underscore tiger underscore the letter O underscore godliness at hotmail.com. Got the job. At Hotmail. <laughs> I hope it wasn't anything tech. <laughs> um, actually, it was tech support for Dell. Um, actually. <laughs> so not real tech. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, it paid, for, it paid 14 an hour in 2008. And then we got sent over to India so they could pay 14 cents an hour for the same job. Hey, oh, so you lost your job overseas as well? Yep. I work for an Indian that pays me just barely minimum wage in cash. So. The irony is built in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rat, he doesn't Max pay taxes confirmed. Max is in the chat. You took off some clothing. He, he wants you to take the rest off. I, I took off my jacket because it's, you know, like the heater works in here and not in a, it's going to kill me. Uh, I, I should tell you, uh, in your absence, Maxper became our highest paying patron. Uh, so you're basically. Uh, wait, 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 so he's giving, he's giving, he's giving us like $8 a month? Just take yeah, it off. <laughs> just take uh, it off, Rex. actually required to take it off. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no. no. Nope, it's I haven't seen of, a, I haven't seen a dime of that, so uh, you can take it off. It's part of the Patreon <laughs> reward system. <laughs> the words specifically say, "Wrath will take his shirt off when told." Yeah, yeah. Um, Wrath will take his shirt off when paid. Do right, we need to make it rain? Super oh. chat. Uh, just make send, it rain. send us a fucking Streamlabs. Uh, he's not. He's not popular. Streamlabs. Make it rain. I, I, we don't have super chat yet. We do, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want us to see his yeah, unicorn yeah, tattoo. A thousand cunts. All all you go and fucking spam out this stream. Yeah, that, and that's really what it is. Is uh, while I was pretending to have a girlfriend, I, I got Angie all over my tit. So <laughs> you know, you know what though? Seriously, I had a friend that got my name tattooed on her back when we weren't friends. She got like a fucking owl and like the monster symbol because I drink monster and it's I. And then it had like music notes and a peace sign, and it said Angie. She still got it on her fucking shoulder. Oh no, it doesn't say your name. It's literally your face is my left head. <laughs> Why the fuck would you get a tattoo of like just a friend's name? I know. Um, no, she was obsessed with me. She like she had a crush on me for a while. It was nightmares. Bad. Um, it was when bad. I was younger, when I was younger, my best friend died. And I wouldn't get his fucking name tattooed on me. <laughs> wow, man. See, just see, one, like of, here, one, of, like... one of my best friends died. I didn't get his name on me. I got a, I got a, sim I got a symbolic piece. See, I got my mom's name tattooed on me. Uh, well, so. that's your mom. And it's part of a, it's It's like her handwriting and her signature and a poem she wrote and all that shit. Like, I made my first tattoo mean something. Well, yeah, but she pushed you out of her hoo-ha. I think she gets a little special consideration. Yeah. I mean, the stuff my mom did for me, you wouldn't believe. Like, she was just amazing. Yeah, see, I, I wouldn't get any of my parents, any of my siblings, uh, my kids. This is it. Yeah, well, I mean, not, I only... Not even the Just the kids. Oh, no, no, no. Never, never, ever significant other on the body. That is, that no. is cursing the relationship. I mean, I, I think if you hit 60... And you've been married for at least like thirty years by that point. Then maybe maybe you can think. No, that's when you start. Oh, at that point, uh, how many times you cheated in your thirties? Because at this point, they're not gonna find someone else. There's like fuck it. <laughs> by the way, what? your what? best friend's baby. <laughs> He's like best friend's baby. Well, there's a reason. Dad. There's a reason that our kid's best friend looks just like them. <laughs> <laughs> There's That's a reason. Why best I mean, friends I mean, I mean if, her, if her late husband, may he rest in peace, had kept condoms in the bedside table, this probably wouldn't have happened. 
Yeah, really, this was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dead bastard. I just imagine we're trying to have a game. Game. He told me over a game of cards that he's infertile. I I took one for the team. I just imagine your kids popping out with top hats. <laughs> well, I mean, my well, yeah, my, my kids are my kids are gonna pop out with with beards and destroyed hats. Like they, the, 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 my kids nice. aren't gonna pop out because they won't have the chance to live. Like, like their their hat's gonna be nice in the womb, and it's just gonna scrape on the way out. <laughs> so all the kids hey, will have matching hats. Got, uh, frankly, my dear, in the chat, I haven't seen him in a while. Frankie, I'm seeing the new names all the time. I'm not seeing so many of the old names, and that bothers me sometimes. I like the new well, names. because they found better friends. I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe maybe their lives got better, and now they have things. Well, to it do. couldn't have gotten worse. None of you have permission to ever improve your lives. Uh, yes, I hope there's something to it. We're trying to squash that here on the cunt stream. The, the self improvement. Exactly. Thing. You all need to be as sad as the saddest among us. You've seen my channel. There's no. There's. There, but hey, hey, hey you know what we? You know what? Guy, oh, you know on, what? Who is the saddest among us? Well, yeah, let's have a sad off. Well, I was, I was my brother say, was killed. I win. I was actually going to say, it's like, oh, Ron, well, have damn. you had sex in the past decade? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> well, Savage wins. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to try and compete in this because I lose. See, oh, I, was, oh, I got a fucking because my life doesn't Why, did the paternity test come back negative? <laughs> no, no, no. The question is how many came back negative? <laughs> they I've all came back negative. Because I've heard, I've heard you talk about kids, and I now know what you look like, so now I'm questioning whether they're yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dolphin, uh, did you really pump out beautiful children, or is that just the father's opinion? Uh, that's really, <laughs> you know, uh, only, only a parent can love their child, you know. That That's when not they look true. Like, I mean, when they look like mine. Like can love a child. I, like, <laughs> oh, no. Not I that actually, type of fucking no. Oh, I was thinking that, but wow, Angie. <laughs> no. Hey, Angie. I'm oh, sorry. God. I had too much wine. <laughs> no. I think we just lost the thread of the conversation. I'm out of cigarettes, too. Why would you do this to me? Should I light up another one just for you? You just keep smoking yes, and be like, ha ha, red. I love smoking to the camera. Just the ring, woman. <laughs> just fucking keep chain smoking. That's, that, just that's to like the focus you. on your camera. So, anyway, uh, Dolphin's sitting there biting his lip in anger and frustration. Continue what you were saying, Dolphin. No, I lost it. <laughs> No, no, he was biting his lip because he's hungry. He blew his money on sending us mead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I blew, I blew all my money on something else that was uh, never mind. Um, no, I had to pay for two funerals in one quarter. Oh, so, right. I, I knew oh, that. Wow. Like, yeah, that's how many people have you killed? I blew out. <laughs> he lost both his parents. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Sorry. Batman. I'm bad. Yeah, I blew out all. I blew out all my savings, and uh, oh wait, but you seriously lost both your parents? Yeah, I uh, blew so out all sorry. my savings and took out a line of credit. So I'm broke. Oh my god, dude! And the the worst part is, I mean, the worst part is he lost both his parents, but <laughs> not at the same yeah. time. So it so, wasn't. So you guys making the rich jokes so aren't really aren't really helping. <laughs> I'm I'm not rich. Well, I, I mean, well, I, I mean, I'm just. Really good, I have a really good job. I have a really good job, but I have a really good set of skills, and I'm I'm at the top of my game in my skills. So I'm at the he top has of my very field particular set of skills. Yeah. He so, will uh, find he will find you, and he will sell when, you a car. Hey, when you make your money back, are you going to build yourself a bat cave or something like? No, no. no. <laughs> I have dead parents, lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he's gonna be he's, Nightwing. He's smart. He's college educated. No, no, he's gonna be Arrow, guys. He's no, he, be you know, Arrow. I, we've got another thing to do this. I'm gonna go get a mask and start like terrorizing his area. Well, I mean, but like, well, I mean, but, but guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Arrow, his cover was he ran a bar. Think about it. Oh, 
Oh shit. Really? You can do it, Dolphin. So like, so yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a split mask. Face. I'm gonna get like a split face mask and pretend to be really good with swords, and he's gonna bust me like twice a week, and it's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us will just all devote our lives to going to Dolphin's area and acting like costume jackasses. <laughs> Go for a while. Well, I mean, and and the worst thing is, is like everyone will think that we're just like a jackass ripoff, and that he's just this asshole that that's ruining our fun. <laughs> I'll just smack you over the head with bottles. Yeah, you know what? It's a lot easier. Dolphin, just start beating up larpers. <laughs> I'm Dolphin Radio, and this is larp hunting. <laughs> Look, we're gonna go okay. <laughs> okay, hey, I'm, I'm... The dolphin die criminal scum. <laughs> no, I it doesn't justice. work if you don't have the stingray coming out of your chest, you know. Right. Man, now you hurt my feelings. How, how dare you talk about his death? Okay, okay, we, we're making jokes about him being a superhero because his parents died. And you're you're upset about Steve Irwin? <laughs> well, of course I'm upset about Steve Irwin. He mattered. He I'm died the way he lived, with animals in his heart. I wish I thought of that. That was good. <laughs> I really didn't drink this much. This is not good. Yes, it is. It's fantastic, Angie. What are you smoking? No, it's, uh, Actually, I know what you're smoking. Cigarettes that I want. <laughs> yes. Delicious Marlboro Reds. Fresh pack. All right, so cigarettes that nobody wants, but... Yeah. It, enough. it doesn't, doesn't necessarily make me feel bad. Cowboy killers, because I just hope they Ooh. fucking kill me already. Hey, hey, you're wearing the wrong kind of boots for that. You, you want you want the ones made of gator skin, not the ones with aquariums in them. Wrong kind of boots there, sweetie. I got I got these boots. Uh Rath just wanted to see your feet again. Fucking pervert. Hey, hey, you know what? You know what? The motor's gotta turn over somehow. They're very we're, we're getting nice desperate. <laughs> they, like they when I'm homesick and I miss my cats, I just pet my boots. By the way, uh, I know we've been talking about pedophiles. And, and I'm the weird one. They are. I'm and the weird one. Obviously, they are. Are we, we're the glossing over the thing. fact that she pets her boots? I'm Maybe making a has. very important. I'm making a very important point, Rath. Okay. No, you're not. Uh, I know we've been talking about pedophiles and how disgusting they are, and objectively, they're much, much, much more disgusting than the people I'm about to talk about. But still, aren't aren't foot fetishes fucking? Oh, God. Oh, dude, dude you have no idea how many people have asked for pictures of my motherfucking feet. Oh, and it's ridiculous. What's, what's, what's with your feet? Nothing. Their feet attached to a woman. And that's, just, okay. that's what these people are doing. They're like, oh, okay, I've okay. Had, I've oh, had yeah. fucking people ask for pictures of my, I mentioned a couple times. I, I, I got big feet. And I've had people ask for pictures of those, and it's like, uh, I don't block people, but I'm very, very tempted. <laughs> oh I actually God. have blocked one person for, for asking for my feet, but that's just because they sent me pictures of their, their dick over a screenshot of me. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's... That, stream, and I'm just like, nah, bro. Like, yeah, that's, that's nope, that's, that's nope. I get asked what uh, color toenail polish I'm wearing. Grossest parts of a human body. Uh, they they stink. They look ugly. They're made generally. They're dirty. To they're see are made to be ignored. Like that's why they're yeah, exactly. all the way down there. Yeah, I mean, but like, like if you're dating someone, you give them a foot massage because their feet hurt. That's not like sexy. Like no, someone's like, like oh, would you give me a foot uh, massage? I, I, I that's kind of like. I was like, no, 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 no. Like, like to get a foot massage from me, you have to suck my dick first, and then foot no. massage will happen because I don't I, like. For me, I when I get foot, foot massages, massages. there's there's still feet, and I don't like them. But I can understand people 
people who will, and it's not sexual or anything no, like that. It's just you got sore feet. Here you go. Yeah, say I'll give a foot massage if they're in pain, but like it's it's I don't just do that for any old person. That's like relationship. Right. When I get when I get like foot massages and stuff, I go to the bathroom and I take like a wipe or whatever, and I wipe down my feet real good, and then I lotion them just so they smell nice. And then I go and I'm like, okay. I'm going to call BS. I'm going to call bullshit. No, that's exactly how I live my life. <laughs> no, like, with, with my ex, I would use lotion when I was massaging her feet. And I would only, like, massage her feet, like, after she showered. Because, because right. otherwise my hands would smell like feet. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, you know, they're thankful. And then they want to, like, initiate something. And you're like, okay, but my hands smell like feet, though. Like and and the thing was is that like this was this became her rule because one time I massaged her feet like we'd we'd been driving most of the day we get to we get to our destination we're both fucking tired and since my license is revoked she did all the driving so she's like my feet are fucking killing me and I was kind of like okay babe I got you um, start massaging your feet and then she's like hey can could you like grab something for me? I was like, sure. Cause it was literally right next to me. And I go to hand it to her. She's like, Oh my God, your hands smell like my feet. I'm going to go shower. You're going to wash your hands like three times. And then we can proceed. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> feet are like Angie said, something that exists that we shouldn't talk about or look at. Exactly. It's just like, that is why it is all the way. It's your the lowest not extremity. In a sexual fashion. Nope, they're not sexy. They're just not. Uh, I would understand a hand fetish more than a foot fetish. I understand <laughs> stocking <laughs> fetish. Like you know when we're when, when we're stockings and stuff like that. Like that's sexy. That's how I. Well, feel it's because sexy. like that's because like legs, legs that. are sexy though. Like women's but your legs feet are still fucking covered. Women yeah, women's legs they, are sexy. They're, they're not. Women's legs lead up to a, a central point that's sexy. Yeah, yes, exactly. Lead. Yeah, 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 Schmeckle, they're, that's what it they're is. They're the pathway. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the pathway to happiness. Exactly. I mean, there's two great things. There's ass and vagina. There's two mm -hmm. amazing things up there. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. They're, don't forget the northern neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you can't talk about what's what's above the fucking feet, it's literally every part of the body that looks better than feet. It's, it's like literally, literally, like the base of the skull is sexier than the feet. I could be more turned on by a nose than by feet. Hey, hey, some women have cute noses. Exactly. Nobody has cute feet. Mm -mm. Nope. The ears. Same thing. Maybe oh, you got cute, don't got cute if feet. You tell me, if you hey, tell me, I mean, I, I that you wouldn't have some like sort of like personal like ooh, ooh, look attachment at this, to the look club at foot. I, I created, I, I helped create a fucking child. I have a two-year-old, and I won't let her touch me with her feet because feet are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, here's here's the thing, Dolphin. This guy, like with the whole club foot thing, I wasn't planning on touching her feet much anyway. It's whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm sorry. A club foot would still be a, a I won't fuck her type. You wouldn't situation. find it endearing. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I, I won't fuck anybody with a disability. I want their body to look. <laughs> I want their body to look uh, good. No, but like, no seriously, Schreckle. Like, let's imagine Jennifer Lawrence. Everything wait, wait, wait. Else is, is being a midget? Foot. Is being a midget a disability? Because I totally yeah. fuck a midget. <laughs> I don't know if it's a disability because like watch you can out, Peter Dinklage. Watch out. <laughs> well, there's the yeah, the midget stripper. I've seen her. Which one? No, oh, no, no. I you're talking the midget porn star. She's gross. Well, yeah, there's no, the no. midget porn star, but then there's one that's a stripper, and she does like all the shows that my friend does, which is, makes me is concerned about. Is she attractive? Because uh, like the the big porn star midget is fucking disgusting. She's fairly attractive. She's not very attractive, but like I mean, you just want to say that I've seen a midget strip. I mean, you know, I I have goals in life. I've actually never had that on the list. Yeah, you oh, that's oh, that a very good point in the chat. I would like the girl to be able to do some work on her end. Yeah, I think that's mainly it. 
It's like the girl has to be able to put in what's being given. Wait, 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 wait. I, our, if, if, if you have most disabilities, you're not going to be able to do that for me. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, you know, I, I guess also, it's a, a club foot I'd turn down just because it looks gross. And it, it's a foot that looks more gross than a foot. Just imagine that dragging up to you in bed. Like, even if she's wearing really <laughs> sexy lingerie, <laughs> she's just, just like dragging thing. <laughs> dragging her leg up to you, like. What the fuck? Her other foot can't fit in a heel, so she's just like wearing one. I, I, I can't I, picture I'm, something. I'm trying to be open minded foot. here. I'm, I'm trying to like give people the benefit of the doubt, and y'all just rap, like rap, ruining rap, it. Rap. Try right now. See if you can picture some uh, a chip with a club foot, but not a lisp. Because I'm having a hard time picturing that. <laughs> um, she her leg up to me. She's saying, "Hey, you made go <laughs> hand in hand, asshole." <laughs> Why does that have to be? No, I can't even do it. Like yeah. she's like, she's like, "So you ready?" Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> because for whatever reason, for whatever reason, in this scenario, you have hardwood floors in your bedroom. <laughs> See, I do because so it, like, go, because it yeah. goes together for for reasons, you know. I'm I'm gonna just uh, throw this out there that uh, yeah, you're all going to hell. <laughs> I'm the, the best news to any of us. I am the party, but I am the driver of the party bus to hell. And I just want you to know that I'll be looking for you there. These are these are the people with the advanced seat purchases. Thank you, obviously, by the way. <laughs> obviously, obviously, I'm probably going to get there before you. Well, maybe not Wrath if I give him any more meat. <laughs> I, I knew know, this I was going to happen today. So, okay, right, I'll be back okay, Cotton I'll Mouth I'll Kings, we get second it. In church. We get it. We get it. Pack a day to get you by. Oh, shut up. That is the <laughs> oldest song ever. Oh, yes, yes. That's definitely older than Mozart. Totally. Oh, it, it is actually getting, it's getting kind of late, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night so that I can go and get some. Uh, it, that's something. important at your age. You should We're, make yeah. get a good amount of sleep. Where can people yeah, find I'm you? I'm really sorry I joked about your parents. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm really sorry no, that she joked about your parents, too. It's It's perfectly okay. <laughs> but remember, <laughs> engineering ever fails for you. Think of Batman oh. as an alternative career. Um, or, or or use car sales. No, or that. You already got the, you already got the uniform. I was going to say, we could totally be homies. I do tech support for car dealerships. I'll, so, I'll uh, hook you up. Well, let's give uh, Dolphin a chance to show himself. Where, where can people find you? Uh, you can catch me at Dolphin Radio. Uh, at, no, uh, no, no, no. Home address. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, he works. He works the morning shift at Slim's Shady Rides on uh, uh, Eight Mile right. Boulevard. If you guys go to my Twitter, <laughs> you'll find a picture. <laughs> you'll find a picture of me, and at the bottom are a list of my fears and and locations. You can't find him because he's the knight. He is he's the knight. A dolphin. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, no, I'm a uh, Dolphin Radio. You guys can catch me on YouTube, and more importantly, at VidMe and other platforms because fuck YouTube. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you're on your way out, YouTube. Just letting you know. <laughs> Huzzah! Anyway, peace. See you later. Bye. Have a good one, Dolphin. It was great having you as always. Go go back and do your failing. He's gone. <laughs> All right, so back back to the topic of uh, of Pat you know, Dolphin. Um, Pat. the wolf shot. You have uh, no, obviously a, a police background, right? Yes. Oh um, shit! Obviously, no, nothing he's <laughs> <laughs> don't. Uh, no, previous, 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 previous. <laughs> No, 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 no. Even if I, even if I was, I, I'm not a fucking narc. I don't give a fuck. I'm just right. saying, you think you're gonna bring an actual so fucking cool. cop to the fucking stream? She's a former cop. God damn! I don't have my flashcards on me, Schmeckle. I gotta get my goddamn flashcards on my composition book. Oh shit! Exactly. You need to pull all this shit out. 
But with, with Amos, yeah, obviously nothing he said is illegal. But um, yeah, considering his uh, his past time in jail, yeah, would, uh, along with these claims, yeah, would there be a, a closer eye kept on him, or what? What would be the case there? Fuck, I definitely consider him at risk. Um, I would have. Uh, God, why was he? Why is he here? That's my biggest thing. Why is he here? Well, because at that time, I don't believe he, uh, I may be wrong. Uh, I don't believe he had made any of these uh, particular statements. It was, uh, well, it, I, it, it, he was arrested for religious, uh, like blasphemy law type shit. Well, I think the authorities need to be contacted and be informed. Unfortunately, when it comes to children, and I don't give a fuck what anybody says, when it comes to kids, that's something... He's gonna do it eventually. I don't give a fuck who you are. He is going to do it. Why wait? Someone needs to watch him, talk to him, coach him, punch him in the dick. I don't fucking know. What about nine millimeters? Is that a good option? I mean, uh, I am not advocating. I am not advocating for shooting him, shooting anybody. I'm not advocating for that at all. Even though I firmly think that pedophiles should be hung immediately when proven guilty. Um, <laughs> yeah, as, as soon as they offend, they should be killed. Yeah, be no, easy as that. That, yeah, that's done. Yeah, that, that's. But this thing, the thing is with pedophiles. They're going to do it. Even even if he hasn't done it yet. He's talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. He wants to do it. He's exploring avenues on how to do it, when to do it, where to do it. Yeah, that's especially the outspoken ones. Obviously, uh, there's the larger chance that they will. But and no, normalize, I still don't think we the, norm can the normalization of the behavior without a crime. Yeah, there is no crime being committed here. Yeah, that is correct. But its I think it's a good preemptive strike, if you will. To Someone's got to know so, Someone's got to know something. You know, the way I see it, we keep an eye on uh, potential terrorists, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Maybe there should be the same thing with potential pedophiles. I mean, wait until you have some proof that they're at least going to do something. I mean, but no, it, it, you can't like you can't prosecute just because they want to. No, I mean, no, uh, absolutely. Uh, I want to rob a bank, you know. Well, this shit ain't like Minority Report, all right? Tom Cruise ain't gonna come out of somewhere and fucking Scientology and all the bullshit. The problem is, is the fact that he will commit this the crime. It's just a matter of when. And unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately a child is going to have to pay for that. But uh, unfortunately, we, and I do say unfortunately, because in those cases where you do know this shit's going to happen, it would be great to be able to stop it before it happens. I've got Samaj here. Uh, fucking Marvel, Civil War Two. <laughs> this was the whole fucking concept. Uh, stopping uh, crimes before they happened. Right? Yeah. Which is an amazing concept, but not something that can actually be enforced. I'm gonna it, head out. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, take care. Have a good one, Ron. It's not something that can be actually enforced without stepping into the realm of prosecuting for thought crimes. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah, a it's no, a slippery. I, mean, no, I agree. No, it's a slippery slope. I mean, if you go in this aspect i mean who's to say that they people when make this comment saying like oh this guy makes hate comments on youtube he's gonna hit, he's gonna do something harmful to someone or someone who criticizes because also the definition of what we call hate crime and and all that kind of or like hate comments or whatever i mean that's always that's constantly on on a flux nowadays and it really shouldn't uh, be even without that that's like a whole slippery slope thing it's like rap was talking about earlier uh, no, I didn't speak for them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what it comes down to is if they haven't actually done something, you can't punish them for something that they might do. E even if it's like 99% certainty they they might do it, 99% they will do it. 
that one percent makes it a mite, and yeah. you could be prosecuting a man who would have remained innocent. Well, we, for for example, of what even if it's in the case of a pedophile, where yeah, they're objectively shitty people, but they they haven't committed a crime yet, and you can't start prosecuting with no crime. Yeah. Well, it, it also goes down the slippery slope in other directions, like, because right now we have, uh, on college campuses, people are saying that, like, men are all potential rapists, and you have to go through these mandatory consent classes, all, all men in colleges and universities. These are guys who have done nothing wrong, but these are designed preeminently to discriminate on the basis of their genders because they, are, they might potentially do it, even though nothing has happened, nothing at all. But that, that's sort of what goes under – that's a slippery slope of what's – this is exactly what could happen. I don't know. I think it's a little bit different with uh, pedophiles, though, because with pedophiles, you take an entire life, and uh, it, I just don't think that it actually oh, – because with pedophiles, you have to actually also, act like a pedophile. Murderers also take an entire life. But if right. we were to start punishing, say, every – violent psychopath or potentially violent psychopath or, or sociopath well i'm not saying <laughs> punish not them I'm, I'm just saying you know try to help them because like i said before it is it is an illness and maybe it's just me and maybe like personally i have no sympathy toward people that decide that it's okay to fucking touch kids but like I really think there has to be some way to reshape them, to make them so they won't act this way. And of course, not everyone's going to admit they're a pedophile. Some people think that it's okay and they justify it and they make fucking excuses. But those people should also be mandatorily dragged into those those well, discussions. Not, not the, one, the, the ones who you find out are pedophiles and you've got proof they're pedophiles, certainly drag them into that. Unless you found out because they offended in which case, kill them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, flat out, kill them. Uh, there's, no, there's no need to try and rehabilitate somebody who is past the point of rehabilitation. Well, Schmeckle, right. this, this is the hardest part, honestly. I mean, my wife, she works, she's in social work. She's got a psychology master's with children, and she's seen what happens with pedophilia and... Um, I've, I mean, I've seen child abuse cases and it's, and there really is no way to do anything beforehand to, uh, the only thing really is to know the signs. Right. And then the, we have so many people though, that are now speaking out on it and justifying it and trying to get other people to justify it. I think that those people should also be held accountable. That's the problem institutionalizing it making it okay and that's that's one thing uh, as far as advocating for pedophilia goes you're not allowed to uh incite violence you should not be allowed to incite pedophilia well the act itself is violence against a child in a, in a way it is no yeah but it's not looked at that way and it should be I, I, it's one I, I of those don't things. Understand that, why. If, I, I, go ahead, Schmeckle. I'm sorry. If you start going on about uh, you no know, wanting to molest kids, it should be treated the same as, uh, or, or sorry, wanting it okay, to be okay to molest kids. It, it should be the same as if you were to go off uh, on Twitter or something like that about, uh, I think it should be okay to murder the president. Uh, I think it should be okay for me to kill my neighbor. Uh, I think it should be okay for me to run over that guy who ran into the street while I was driving. It, it should be looked at as m maybe not a threat, but a potential one. Well, then it, you, get should... these, you get you get these assholes trying to put pedophilia under the 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 LGBT banner, and that makes it fucking ten times worse. It's like well, it's uh, it's not a sexual. It's not a sexuality. It's it's a. It's no, a and I it's, certainly it's a agree. Disease. Exactly. I don't but know what it is. It's still not something we can we can prosecute against. Maybe uh, the LGBT no, community could try a class action suit for defamation. But, but 
but it, they're trying to normalize the behavior is my point. No, definitely. And uh, again, well, that's something that should be cracked down on, but only in so far as we can crack down on anybody else for, for speech. It's something that should be monitored. It's something where anybody espousing these ideas should have an eye kept on them. It's not something that we can punish preemptively. Well, the only issue with that is like the manpower to do that. You know what I mean? Certainly, but uh, I'd rather uh, I'd rather have a legal system that fails to a degree than a legal system that takes that throws away liberties. That True. Throws I mean, away certain rights. It's sort of a double-edged sword there because it's like, while you want people to have free speech, you don't want people to be able to spout that it's okay to fuck kids or that, you know, this is what consent is when it's children or that they can consent at this age. It's all really fucking disturbing. So, like, it is, it's definitely difficult to find a way to stop people before they actually hurt someone because I... It is so damaging. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing. If we can find a proper way to follow to find these people before they do shit and prove that they were that they were planning to do this shit. I mean, uh, you can charge for conspiracy. First and foremost, heart progress should be taken down. No, it's something like that. NAMBLA, Heart Progress, any of those groups, there should be limits to which groups are allowed uh, not to be vocal, but to be vocal without, uh, again, drawing an eye to them from uh, law enforcement. Like discuss it in their own private forum or something. Everybody who hangs out in an ISIS forum is looked at as a potential terrorist. Every person who hangs out in a heart progress forum or an Ambla forum should be looked at as a potential pedophile and given the same amount of scrutiny. I think I can agree with that. Like, I will concede that there isn't really much of a way to treat people before they've offended. And not to mention um, what Outlaw here said that the uh, recidiv recidivism 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 thank you rate is uh, very high with that um, it's just like people trying to trying to quit drugs they'll often come back to it um, but I think that yeah, a lot I, don't of think, I don't think you can compare compare it to drugs and it's not just pedophiles it's most sexual offenders. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, I, pedophilia has the highest recidivism rate, I believe. Well, yeah, I'm sure pedophilia does because it takes a much sicker person to be a pedophile than a regular rapist. Well, and then we and then we coddle them and treat them like, oh, okay. that you treat it as a mental illness rather than a crime, and that's that's not right. Like I said, it, any sex offender and. Maybe not under current sex offender laws, because as failures pointed out, that could be someone who takes a piss in public. But yeah, absolutely. Any rapist, any anybody who molests anybody, like actually molests, uh, and anybody who does anything with a child, uh, kill. Them. Don't take the risk again. They fucked up. They fucked up. Uh, and it's something they can't excuse because it's a crime that can't be excused. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you there. I don't care if they did it because they were a fucking schizophrenic and the neighbor's dog was telling them to rape this kid. A fucking son of Sam. Kill him. No, and uh, same with serial killers. I don't care about... Uh, I have very little sympathy uh, for using mental illness as an excuse as soon as you've harmed somebody else. Your mental issues, uh, I don't care if they're because daddy raped you. Your mental issues are yours. The minute they begin to affect somebody else, fuck you. Oh, like the Mendez twins where they were like, our dad molested us, so we shot our parents. 
No, I'm sorry. Our dad molested us, so I shot dad. And mom. Cool. Our dad's uh, molested us. Actually, no, I could kind of see that too. Mom let it happen. I don't know. Uh, if, I, 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 I honestly that. don't know if the allegate those allegations were founded. Well, no, if it's true, obviously. I but, mean, they're uh, still in, they're still in jail for even, murder, but even shit like PTSD. If you fucking snap and go kill a bunch of guys, you deserve to die. I'm sorry. Your illness makes you a danger. Sucks. I feel bad for you, but you deserve to die. You need to die for people to be safe because you have proven yourself a danger. Well, do they need to die? I mean, can't we just sort of put them in jail for the rest of their lives? We yeah. could. Then they'd be a risk to other inmates, to jail staff, any oh, medical sh- any medical people that would ever have to deal with them. There's still a non-zero chance of escape. It might be a very low chance, but it's certainly not zero. I don't want to. I don't want to pay for that shit. It, well, there's the monetary obligations, and there's the argument that uh, it's a lot more expensive to execute somebody than it is to keep them in prison. Not if you just hang them. Rope is cheap. That's for sure. Hey, fire. Rope, rope is very cheap. <laughs> I mean, the, the the reason it's expensive to 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 execute somebody is because we do it not just humanely, but beyond the point of humane. We want them to feel no pain. They feel a little prick on the arm. And, you know, I'm not saying torture them. Torturing Torture is a waste of resources on a man who's going to die. But don't waste your fucking money making it feel good. Don't waste taxpayer money making it feel good. Drop him on a rope. Well, the other fucking reason, shoot him the, in the, the head. The, the other reason Bullets why it costs so much is because of uh, how long they wait. The appeal process, etc. Um, Making them wait is, it's necessary because you do need to get the proof and shit. But there are situations where there's zero fucking doubt. Those people could be hung the day their trial's done. Well, to be fair. When when you've got a video of the fucking guy doing the deed, uh, crossed with a fucking confession and DNA and all that. Just kill the guy. Well, to, to be... Don't wait him around so he can appeal and appeal. Uh, don't keep him around so he can appeal and appeal and appeal. Well, to kill be fair, him. Schmeckle, I mean, there's zero doubt at that time. I mean, a year a year after the execution takes place, proof can come up. No, but Two that's years the down thing. the line. Five years. A century. I mean... Uh, that's the thing. In the cases where there is zero doubt. I know, but like there, I said, there, it's there only zero... zero. Doubt. Uh, there, are, there is... But there are certainly those cases where they're beyond a reasonable doubt. Okay, but it's only zero doubt. Where it later comes, uh, comes out that they were wrong. It's Our only justice zero, system zero is not doubt. perfect. Uh, I'm talking, yeah, you've I got know. them on video. They've been caught red-handed. Yeah, I know. I know. Schmeckel, it's only zero doubt until proof comes up. Our justice I mean, system is not perfect. No, it's not, and that's ne- why I say... It, it never will be. And that's why you shouldn't... Perfect. And that's why I'm sort of against the idea of taking a life. Like I said, it's zero doubt until till it's not. No, well, no, and that's because uh, what the what the states run on is not zero doubt. It's beyond a reasonable reasonable doubt. doubt. Yeah, I'm talking the situation where you have like I'm talking reserving it for the situations where you have zero doubt. They've been caught red-handed. Uh, their sperm is in the dead kid's body. Shit like that. Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, goddamn uh, fucking John Wayne Gacy. Uh, uh, Thra- Ted Bundy. Uh, one, 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 one second. Thrax Sable Scales is asking me in the chat. Schmeckle, do you want revenge or do you want justice for the children? Uh, I don't really care about either of those, to be honest, Thrax. Uh, I want the person who did it to no longer be able to do it. Uh, no more complicated than that. I want the threat gone. Uh, yes, uh, and brown coat Boas has pointed out it's hanged. Uh, y- you want to be hung like a black man, not hanged like a black man. I should have remembered that. Thank you, brown coat Boas. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I I don't look at it as re- I think revenge is generally pointless. And justice, 
while a good concept it is only valuable in so much as taking away the threat. Uh, again, it's when the dog bites, you put it down. It's it's not a revenge thing, and really, it's not a justice thing. It's don't let a proven threat re remain a threat. Get rid of it. <laughs> That's what you do with threats. You eliminate them. Anyway, we got Futter. I, I sent you that link for Copper Cab, not for you. <clears throat> when did you get the background? Uh, Samaj gave me this background a while ago. Yeah, but when did you start green screening it in? Uh, about three minutes ago. Oh. Well, cunts, uh, this is Futternutter's new background. You've never heard of him because nobody gives a fuck about him. Why? Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see how nobody laughed at that? Because it wasn't a joke. <laughs> I think, I think it's also way, because, uh, I love you, Futter. Thanks for all your kindness. I think it's also because, like, we'll also, actually, in the last or after the last stream, uh, I did find out Futter. Futter does, in fact, have a lady friend, and she's she's actually quite cute. <laughs> no, I, I will say Futter, Futter did well this time. Bullshit. And not, not, not so well the last time. Not so well the last time. I, I think we can agree on that, right, Futter? Well, we fucked up a little no, bit the last that time. That wasn't bad. The kid's mom, on the other hand. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I, I mean the kid's mom. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm never sticking dick in crazy again. <laughs> he, 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 did, did you shave the fucking beard? Because you looked like fucking Ricky in the last stream. No, it's... Uh... Oh, fuck. And butter's gone. It's just it, 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 it must have been the angle. You looked like fucking Ricky from Thriller Park Boys in the last stream. And now you look uh, like his grandfather. I'm not even old. My background uh, just fucked up on me. You're old compared to, I think, everybody here. Except Samaj. <laughs> no, Samaj is in the same age group, kind of. Yeah, he's... You're, 30, you're what, 33, Samash? 34? Yeah, 33. Uh, yeah, but a wolf shot sounds like she's young, and Angie looks like she's young, so. I'm 30. 23. It, uh, wait, well, oh, Angie's younger than I thought. <laughs> I get Angie, that a lot. Angie's and wolf, a wolf shot's older than I thought. Sorry. It's all right. I'll forgive you. I remember the first time you came on and I thought you were a dude? Yeah, then that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed I, that. I can't fucking tell on Twitter. You, you had a fucking wolf for an avatar. Uh, I just assumed, all right, it's some guy. <laughs> That's cool. No, I'll, I'll be honest, though. I do like you a lot better as a lesbian. <laughs> what the fuck was I before? Uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's his attempt at complimenting you. <laughs> Thank you, Schmeckle. I really appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. You do lesbian well. Thank you. <laughs> you do that top hat really well. Uh, I'm sure, but uh, I'll, I'll send you the videos later. Don't share them with anyone. Okay, I won't. Promise. Well, you, you can share them with your missus. Uh, I know sometimes lesbians are just like, hey, uh, I'd like to see... Uh, a guy who looks like he's in his 30s but sounds like he's 12, fuck a top hat. Uh, it's a regular thing. It happens to every lesbian. Uh, any lesbian in the chat. Uh, I know what's happened. All right. I know what's happened. It didn't happen to me. You're bisexual. You don't count. You don't count. <laughs> hey, if you like the sucker cake, you need it too. Leave her the fuck alone. Wait, 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 Angie, is that is that the second bottle you're almost done? Uh, she's done. Is, I'm done. She's done. Angie ran. <laughs> she, she's wavering around. Uh, uh, it just feels nice on my face. <laughs> Things I haven't heard since I got married. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys... Have you guys seen that picture... <laughs> 
of that girl that took her boyfriend's dick and <laughs> wrenched it over her face, and she looks like Alf. Oh my god, what, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> you gonna be um, alright? You know what? I think I'm going to have this glass of wine, and then I should probably go to bed. I have work in the morning. <laughs> Open up a window. I can't. They're all winterized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and my furnace is trying to kill me. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait. Did you maybe piss off your landlords, or? I own the house. <laughs> this is the house you live in. She is the landlord. Sleep on the fucking lawn. I have such bad luck. <laughs> because when I moved out of my apartment, they had just finished reducting the entire place. And I'm like, wow, that was really annoying. <laughs> and then I move here. <laughs> and they have to reduct everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so miserable. Since we've, uh... oh no, shit, we 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 can't end yet. We we've only <laughs> been going like an hour. I know it's so boring. <laughs> yeah, we can end early. If we need uh, it's all right. It wasn't a boring story. It was just a. Uh, I don't want to have to do a charity stream for you, but I also don't want to have to do a funeral stream for you. So. You know, I'll, I I got it. I had the loan from the no, bank. No, I'll send it to Miss Anon. She'll do something. I can, can, get, a, uh, I can get a loan from the bank. It'll be fine. It'll quick, be fine. Quick, quick update. Uh, cunts in the chat who, who don't pay attention to Twitter. Uh, actually, I don't think I even said it on Twitter. From now on, four fucking charity streams a year. This is starting January. And the, you know, one a quarter. Maybe four. Maybe nothing will be important enough. But that's all you get. Oh, one a month is exhausting on me. And more importantly, it's, it's exhausting on your bank accounts. <laughs> You're generous, cunts. Oh, we've proven that time and time again. Don't. Don't worry. We're, we're, we're going to let you feed your kids for a little bit. <laughs> I was surprised people, like, ever gave me money. Like, in my super chat and stuff like that. People give me money, and I don't know why. I don't do anything. <laughs> that, that said, however, I will be doing a uh, shill stream next month because uh, I desperately need money. Give <laughs> him your money. Don't give me your money. Give him the money to come to the good part of Canada. Give her. Don't don't give her her your money. She she owns her house. She's doing I, well for herself. <laughs> I own I own a house, and. It's trying to kill me. In fact, don't, don't even give me your don't even give me your money. Give Samaj your money. Get a prostitute. Ten years, cunts. Oh my god, dude! I don't understand why. Like, are you like wrecked under no. there? <laughs> 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 Samaj is the type of. Uh, not like the digni dignified type of attractive fat guy, but like the, yeah, he probably gets laid every couple months type of fat guy. <laughs> Monday, well, Monday Matt. Mon oh. Monday, Monday Matt. Matt. Okay. Monday Matt. I would fuck Monday Matt. I, so. Well. All right, cunts. So uh, you've got the Streamlabs link. If we can get the, the proper amount to get uh, either Samaj to stuttering or stuttering to Samaj. What if it's going to happen? Let's make Has it, happen. it really been 10 years, Smosh? No, not 10 years. More, Almost nine. It's been nine. That's close enough. I can give you my ex's number. My ex's number. I, I, why would I stick my dick in crazy? Why would I stick my dick in crazy? Just he, draw... and Not the crazy. Uh, also, Smosh, uh, you'd stick your dick in crazy because it said, hey, you can stick your dick in me. Look, I, but but I, I think he meant his last ex. No, Samaj, no, just I, I draw mean, her a picture. It really, you want Samaj, do you want me to have to tell your children, by the way, this this orange monkey over here? <laughs> Fuck your mommy. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Is that what you want, Futter? I just want her to stop texting me. Send her my number. All right. That's what I do. No, I'll convince her to stop texting you. When people ask me for my number, I give them my boy thing's number. And uh, I know it's mean to do, but I get it so much at work that I just get really pissed off. Like I've thrown away people's numbers right in front of them. I can't handle it. That, that, that's that got to be harsh for some of those guys. Yeah, I've looked somebody dead in the eye and just dropped his number right in the fucking garbage. Uh, I feel like the type, of, the type of guy that gives his number to random people that they run into at businesses probably gives his number to every lady he meets. I'm the or last every lady. I'm the <laughs> every lady that like... Room. So exactly. I and on, on the path in, he's going, and here's my number. Here's my number. Here you go. Here you go. And he's just passing a bunch of ladies going. Shh. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you got my number. You, he doesn't realize that he's not a pimp. No, they're not. The fucking king in there. But, but it turns out guy. he's just he's just a guy who has paper and a pencil. I am it's the last guy before the bedroom. Most people are drunk or high, and they're just like, you are okay looking, glasses, and they hand me their number. Okay, then. Well, that's depressing. Do they actually say, hey, you're okay looking, and, and then give you the number? No, they're always like, has anyone ever told you? That would make it They're always like, has anyone ever told you that you're beautiful? And I'm like, yep, thanks, bye. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you're beautiful? Yeah, that guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes, and I just tell him to fuck off. <laughs> you're like the fifth fucking guy in line. Do you think you're not at least the fourth to tell me this? Get out of here, peasant. It's just such a stupid opening line. Has anyone ever told you that you're beautiful? Yeah, my mother. Okay, bye. I, I've never had an opening line with ladies. Usually it's hello. Or, how I got Hi. my boy thing was I how, said you're how cute. You doing? Um, my boy thing, I said you're cute, get in my bed. And he drove an hour and a half at 3 a.m. to see me because he had never had a booty call yeah. before. That's... You probably shouldn't have stayed with that guy. <laughs> I left him a note when I left for work in the morning, and uh, I didn't expect to see him again. And uh, he ran after me to give me a goodbye kiss, and he's all fucking naked, and I'm living in a hotel at the moment. And he opens the door and realizes he can't chase me down the hall, and then he just never left me alone. And here we are. How a stalker turns into a boyfriend. Yep. That story yeah, would have been much more interesting with tits. Samaj, can you turn your camera on? Nope. Ha! I never get your titties when I ask for them. Then stop asking. If it, you if own, it helps. I owe you nothing. I, I, helps, I saw what you was wearing that one time. If it I, helps, I was also naked in the morning. I don't know if that, if that helps or if you're looking for... There we go. Now the story has nudity. See? Now yeah, it's... A Yep, just put on a dress and underwear, and I just ran out. Yeah, see, you, you could start any story with. So I woke up, and uh, first thing, I got in the shower, and, and then it's an all right story, but you didn't start it that way. No, a light bulb exploded when he was there, and uh, he tried to take a shower because he felt really dirty because he thought I used him, which I did. And uh, okay, he felt you fucked a gay man. You're continuing to fuck a gay man. <laughs> it's so Does funny like because that's tunes? when he got called in high school. Does he like show tunes? No. <laughs> Is he just a little on the sensitive side? Yes. Has he, have you ever caught him putting on your makeup? 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> but it, it was weird for me to date someone that was more sensitive than wait, I wait, was. Wait, let me guess. He's not very interested in your boobs. No, very. <laughs> like, <laughs> you wouldn't believe. I try to put my bra on. In the yeah, like, he, he really likes my boobs. Like, he, he loves them. He loves them so much that like, he can't get away from them. He loves them so much. I try to put my bra on in the morning, and he always just, like, runs up, and he's just like, Argh! And I'm just like, can I just, can I just put Does on my bra? Does he overcompensating? <laughs> Does he actually go, rah? Because <laughs> that's not how you grab tits. No, he just... Uh, or is it more like rah? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my relationship before this was with a woman, so I don't know how to act. Oh, me too. <laughs> Six years with a woman, and you just you end up dating a guy that you know grew up with all sisters and stuff, and just. Right, I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to regret this, but FUD's in charge. Uh-oh. What? I'm never in charge. Uh, alcohol intake. Yeah, I drink a lot. Oh, come on. Schmeckle's, like, drunk 24-7. <laughs> yeah, but Schmeckle's medium. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we, we drink to stay warm. I mean, it, it's a contradiction, but, I mean, come on. Come it on. Works. You see where we live? We live in fucking Canada. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. We haven't gotten snow yet. I'm in Michigan. We haven't gotten snow yet. We have gotten so much rain. We, we're, we're getting snow like crazy here in, here in my neck of the woods, and it's fucking terrible. Well, I'm about to go to Florida uh, on Saturday. Like, I leave, and uh, it's supposed to be in the 80s there. Which I'm gonna like pack all my summer stuff, and then when I get back, just throw it into storage and be like, "Fuck it." Well, how cold is it where you're at now? Uh, 24 degrees. Oh, I guess it's about the same as here. It's not too too bad, but it's pretty cold compared to like we are just having it in like the 70s and stuff, and then it just. Pfft. No. It's snowed no a little what the bit. Four degrees means, but if it's similar to what Futter has, then it's actually probably nicer here. Uh, it's about minus eight. <laughs> it's it's like six above here. I don't know how you guys live here. <laughs> I want to live there. No, it's a terrible country. You don't want to live here. Everything about this place is awful. Okay. I like it cold. But, <laughs> Fucking government weather. Okay, that's that's nice. Yeah, healthcare our healthcare nice. sucks though compared to American healthcare. On top of on top of everything, I fucking have some kind of insurance issues to where my insurance gets cuts up gets cut off on the thirtieth, and I need to go to physical therapy and possibly have surgery, and I can't do any of it. Cobra. Maybe you should start uh, paying your insurance. Cobra. Cobra? Cobra. Cobra? Oh. Yeah, it's when your insurance runs out, you're offered Cobra. Oh, it's a it's state insurance that I pay a deductible on, which is fine, but because apparently I didn't send in my pay stubs, they want all this money from me. And I didn't send him an end of coverage letter for my last one. You know, it's a long story. I was about to say, what the fuck? Basically, my insurance is just really screwed. And I want to cry. Well, please do. The, the tears do really good for the ratings, especially lady tears. In, in fact, if you just want to kind of like pull your shirt down a little while you cry. Oh, my God. You know, this, maybe pop the glasses off. Pop the glasses off and pull the shirt This I will all do. This is fine. These are just boobs. And they're not even okay. my full boobs. We, we can have the cleavage. We, we don't get any tears. 
yeah, but you guys can have the cleavage. Just, just there you go. There you go, chat. Lots of cleavage, no tears. You're gonna have to say really mean things in the chat if you want tears. Really uh, I don't things. usually advocate, advocate for bullying, but uh, I know stuttering can take it up until the point where she cries. Just cleavage. Boobs. Bongo drums. <laughs> Bongo drums. <laughs> do her thing here is better is be more entertaining than anything we could do. <laughs> it's music going on too. Uh, yeah, actually, if we get Red Robot in here, is there any way you could give him a drum beat and we could get him to sing? Yeah, I'm totally down. Yeah, with you, it. you play the drums, we'll get him to sing. I'm thinking, uh, uh, do you believe in life after love? Uh, I know he knows it. Uh, I figure you probably know the drum beat. Oh boy. It's been a while. All right, guys, I'm hit. I'm going to bed. Uh, Y'all have a good night. Thank you for having me on, Schmeckle. Really appreciate it. Boops. Not a problem. Uh, be sure to give your wife a kiss for me. I will. Definitely. Uh, preferably on uh, the lower lips. Absolutely. Oh. Excellent. Mm. Fixing the boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Uh, Y'all have a good night. Oh boy. Have a good one. Uh, I think okay, I right. think Chambers wants in. Chambers, do you want in? Tell us in the chat. Uh, I've recently realized that after I ask a question to the chat, I, I can't just stop talking and, and expecting to answer. So, so yeah, I've improved slightly. Samaj, s send Chambers the link. Already done. See, Samaj is on top of things. That's why he's co-host number five. <laughs> Yeah, you never leave me in charge. I could just do this forever. It's true. From now on, when I uh, when I walk away, I'm just gonna be like, F "Fucking Angie, tits out." <laughs> Is this the part where I sing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna play the drums, and for once, I'm gonna let you sing. Uh, I want. Uh, do you believe in life after love? Uh, right. By Cher, I believe. Let me know when I should start. All right, uh, start him off with the drum beat. Very hard to hear. She doesn't have that great resonation. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to have to hit him harder. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> after love, after love. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside. I can't break through. There's no talking to you. It's so sad that you're leaving. It takes time to believe it. You have never and heard this song, all, have you? Said and done. <laughs> you're going to be I'm the so only drunk. one. Oh, oh, do you believe I'm in life after I'm all? I can feel something inside me say. Should I keep going, or have I? Has, has everybody died yet? Uh, I assume you at least know the chorus, so try and do this part properly. Well, I was oh, I was God. trying to get to that. The chorus is here. It, it take. I'm actually no, singing. It's me. Actually it's me. I'm so bad at this. I kind of know what I'm doing. It's weird. <laughs> the news. <laughs> Hello. I'm doing Eminem. I mean, really, the I only like part that anyone remembers is the, is the repeated bits of the lyric, but it, it's uh, strangely enough, it's it, there's a lot more to it. I'm, I'm just going to sit here fascinated by the jiggle. Is that okay? Well, you, you should wait for the after show when we all get completely nude and you're not invited, Red. Well, <laughs> you know what I look like naked anyway. I'm a giant robot. I don't wear clothes. I know, and that's I mean, the worst part. You, you got no genitals to speak of. Oh, no, I, I have part, different kinds I can attach. Which one would you like? Drumming. Uh, I would like the big black one, obviously. Okay. That, you you know that's right on loan to Sean King, right? <laughs> so, Chambers, how are you liking the view? <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are getting more of anyway. a kick out of it. Uh, kick uh, out of it more than I am. Stuttering? <laughs> what, what the fuck is written on your boob? <laughs> 
Uh, it says, if you enter below, you should know I have HIV. <laughs> I was no. about to say it would have been more. It would have. It would have been more eloquent to say, "Abandon all hope, ye who enter here." <laughs> That's a really good <laughs> idea. Yeah, put that right above but your crotch. It says, "Remember, I love you with love forever, real." And it's my mom's signature and her nickname. Oh, got it over my heart. <laughs> um, sweetie, I hate to tell you, your heart's a little lower and more towards the center. Yeah, I know. Oh. I, I mean, I've ripped it out of enough humans to know. I got it done by a uh, prison tattooist. Ah, well, that explains a lot. Apparently, not a successful heart stabber. They called it. They called him lung stabby, didn't they? You guys. Yes. My, for a second. Mm, mm, there it is. Kind of looks like a vagina. Camel toe in there. Very nice. Dequa Qua in the chat is asking, "What does everyone think of Lil Slash as Schmeckle's nickname?" I would Lil like Slash? to point out, I'm two inches taller than Slash. <laughs> uh, I, I would have thought his nickname would have been Doodles the Monkey. <laughs> so I know I'm coming in very, very late, obviously. Um, so what was the consensus on Amos Yee? Uh, I don't think I don't think we ever needed a consensus. He's a fucking, he wants to fuck kids. I'm at the point he's in the U.S. now, so all it's going to take is getting a hold of his info and reporting him. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen, anyways. We'll oh yeah, I am waiting. I am waiting for it because it's like, oh, you're in the U.S. now. You're not safe here, dude. You spot that crap, y'all end up the same way as Omni. Sorry, I just woo. Did, did, did you just pronounce that like Omni? No, I said Omni. Okay, okay. Just, just making sure because you, you do say a lot of words weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, no, I caught the stream with Jeff Holiday, and I'm just going, why are you arguing with him? Quit arguing with these guys. It's not going to go anywhere. Just get their info and report them to the cops. Just, no. Oh. I think, but it's I just like Andy Worski and Blair trying to argue with uh, Omni politics. I'm just like, guys, what are you doing? Stop it. You're not, there's no debating about the topic. Stop. There is uh, no. Uh, that's that's, that's the thing with Omni. The, the only fucking uh, uh, pedophile, like, it was the first fucking pedophile to pop up while I was doing uh, videos. Uh, and he's the only one I'll comment on. <laughs> Because I didn't enjoy making that video. Hey, it was one of those things. Where I, I fucking wrote out a script. Uh, I read it word for word. And uh, by the time I was done, I was proud of myself for not yelling. God damn it, Angie. It's been nine years. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> Samaj, just rub one out and you'll, you'll feel a lot better. <laughs> Samaj, I, I hope you know, the other night I was willing to get my dick sucked for you. I saw that. Um, that was interesting. Wait, what? Don't okay, this one, this one is for you, Samaj. <laughs> it's just for you. <laughs> uh, Fuck. There you go, Samaj. Uh, when was the last time you saw that? Oh, oh wait, it's still on a stream. No, never mind. <laughs> It's all good. It's, it's still on computer. Wait, wait, wait. Say Jimmy while you're doing that. That'll that'll really get him. Say <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, yeah, Jimmy. Mm, Jimmy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that sounds right. Mm -hmm. oh I'm waiting for Samaj to write BRB. <laughs> <laughs> or just to go muted randomly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not his fault. His keyboard's sticky. You guys are killing me. <laughs> hey, mine is too. Don't, I don't. I'm not judging. I, my keyboard's sticky too at this point. But that's because I have a cooling leak. That's beside the point. Ew. Oh god. Hey, look. At my age, it's a good. It, it, as a robot, it's. It, I'm lucky. I'm oper I operate it all. The fact that he can get it up is impressive. Hey, that's. I that's, commend that's, you. That's hydraulic pressure. Even I have that. Sent a fucking link to Opal. I, I, I thought oh, we needed people. What? Oh my god, Chambers, you're blonde? We needed people, not oh. Opal. What? Oh, 
Oh, Opal not um, count as people. No. Um, Opal does not count as people. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Sorry. She just said it. There's so many icons. Oh, Butterbird is here. You, you missed the boobs, Opal. You, oh, you missed the boobs. That's okay. There's there's yeah. there's more boobs where that came from, Opal. I never get to Don't worry. Boobs. In, in the after stream, we're all gonna get nude. Yay! Except for me, I'll still have my hat on, as Olenska pointed out. I never get to see the boobs. See? There you go. There you go, Opal. <laughs> boobs. And if she squeezes them just just right, she can make the, the, the cleavers look like a camel toe. Yeah, like right there. Right there. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and I just, you want to put your finger in there. <laughs> well, Not my finger. Call it a finger. <laughs> I, I call it a red rocket. Hey, hey, you know what, Opal? I, we, we were just talking about someone, and we think we found someone just for you. He's a little Singapore boy. No, Opal, run away. Ignore them. They Opal, know them. Oh, oh, he wants to fuck you. Holy you sound like you're child. 11, and he wants to stick his little Asian penis in you. What I'm, do you say? I'm not a child. That's okay. He won't notice anyway. My, my gross stuff. Oh, damn it. Oh, rather, no, 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 you no, won't no, notice anyway. Sure. Sorry, I got that backwards. Sounds like a child doesn't mean she don't have hair down there, and that's going to turn him off. This is true. Uh, oh. yeah, everybody actually, can shave. That actually has. I was talking to an older guy, and he's like, hey, how old are you? I'm like, oh, I'm 21. He's, we left. He left oh. after I said I was 21. I'm pretty sure 21 is the perfect age for most men. No, 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 no. Some men want an 18 year old. Maybe he was just after that. Or maybe, maybe, maybe he was after a forty-year-old. It's a possibility. But uh, I mean, twenty-one. This sounds like an ideal age. I'm pretty sure that way you don't have to worry. Although when I do go to, no, I mean, I don't think you have to worry at eighteen. But. Like, <laughs> when I go, when, when I go to my college, is the main I get... message here. Like if I if you're going to stick your dick in something, make sure it can vote. Oh. Well, so, so that means no sleeping with felons, right? <laughs> Why the fuck would you want to fuck with a felon? Hey, they they know the kinky shit. They've been in prison. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty uh, I guess maybe fun. you're a gay man and you want someone good at receiving. I'm I slept saying. with a felon once. Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great time. This, this Opal coming. fathered children with a felon. You know, he's this not coming. a felon. He's never been caught. Look, this, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right? this, this is some rich shit coming from a Mexican. <laughs> never been caught is the excuse. That's, he, he is ha that's he fucking is amazing. half white, half native, okay? The father is half native. He's not Mexican. You Are you fucking, fucking Tonka? Because I'm going to tell Vamp. No, I think Tonka's um, like a third native or something. Like that. I'm telling Vamp anyway. Why is there a knife <laughs> in my sewing kit? What? 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 I'm practicing my sewing and there's a little mini knife in here. A little mini mice? Is it knife? No, knife. Oh, knife. Is it an exact? Is it an exacto knife? Yeah, but it's really tiny. I didn't buy it. Your son is hiding weapons. It's the spawn of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my sewing. I, I keep my sewing kit in the closet. Son of Satan! He is growling a lot lately. Actually, <laughs> no, Opal, Opal, Opal. What, what you need to do is, have you ever had a dog who, who had a poor temper? I've never owned a dog before. What the fuck? Have you ever had a That's cat sad. who had a poor temper? I've never had a cat before. What? Have you ever had a boyfriend that had a poor temper? Rat or a cockroach or whatever they have in Mexico that behaved poorly? <laughs> Chihuahua. Or you call them rats. Sorry. You guys are so mean. Discipline your child. When he growls at you, don't go, oh, don't growl. <laughs> How do you discipline an infant? Uh, exactly the way I do with my infant of similar age. Hey, don't do that. Daddy will hit you. You remember how mommy died? You'll be the same. Oh, my God. Poor baby. <laughs> but, but then you don't actually oh get the You just tap him on the cheek. That way it's not abuse. Abuse? That's a 
Opal, j- shove the kid back up in there until you're ready. Oh, for oh, fuck's that's, sake. Oh. That's not how children work. That is not how children work. Oh, there's a symbol. My entire bra is out. It's super tight, baby. Right, uh, it I've off. gotten to Take the point off. where we're stuttering soliloquies. Tits are probably going to come out. And Opal, uh, I, I just told her to put her kid back in her vagina. So <laughs> we're going to wrap up at this point. Oh, but I just got here. I know. That's most of the reason we're wrapping up, dear. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, also, I'm here. So you, you know it's either the beginning of the show or the end of the show. So, All right, so, so d- oh my God. Samaj, or run me through the people that were here and are no longer here and who we miss dearly. Uh, well, let's see, that was Running Guns, uh, Dolphin Radio, Wrath of Controversy. Uh, oh, Farno is still here. Oh, uh, Wolf Shot, yeah. All right, and then we've got Chambers of My Heart. Chambers, darling, please show yourself. Um, I'm Chambers of My Heart. Um, if you like Rand's Poetry of the Mix, um, hit me up. Come to my channel. And I also do art requests and commissions. So if you like my art, you can find a link to my art on my YouTube channel. So if you need art done, hit me up. I do charge. I'm a, a, a charge fair price. But yeah, if you need art done, come find me. Yeah, and a, a very uh, a very good, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, example of Chambers art will be available in my next video and many to come. She's done one of my backgrounds for me. Woo-hoo. And then we've got uh, Futternutter. Futter, can you please not say a thing and just have your <laughs> girlfriend be on camera for a couple minutes? Uh, well, my girlfriend went home. Uh, can you just post her nudes? No. I do a video which I'm trying to get her to agree for, to publish. I recorded her the first time she ever got introduced to a Riley Dennis video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the video, I handed her a bottle of bleach. Yeah. What does she rather do? Watch another video or drink the bleach? She bleach. grabbed the bottle of bleach out of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we've got... Uh, Angie, stuttering soliloquy. Uh, the, the one what you see on screen with the boobs and such. <laughs> then there is, of course, my lovely, lovely co-host, Samaj. Fuck you. Oh, so we had, uh, right, we had Geek Thulu on. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Geek was briefly here. Yes. And then I guess there was Opal. And Red Robot, can you please... uh. End this stream with, with with some singing. I, I'd really like to hear uh, the theme from the Bodyguard. I will always love you. I thought that was a different <laughs> movie. All right, fine. And I, I will always love glue. Ow. Wait.